The government has announced that Indonesia will use top sky navigation system equivalent to what is used in neighboring countries including Singapore and Australia. The top sky system supports a new flight plan format by the International Civil Aviation, Aviation Organization. Transportation Minister Ignatius Jonan says the first top sky system supports new flight plan format that has been sanctioned by the ICAO. Jonan hopes the new system will increase aviation safety in Indonesia. The first top sky system will operate in Makassar Air Traffic Service Center. Peralatan bantu navigasi udara. Jadi ini peningkatan saja dari yang banyak itu peralatannya itu misalnya bikin flight plan itu uh, harus ada converter dan sebagainya ini sekarang jadi otomatis. Tujuannya ya uh, tujuannya untuk meningkatkan uh, keselamatan penerbangan. President Director for Indonesia Air Navigation Bambang Cahyono says the new system is also equipped with new features including separation calculation for procedures as well as longitudinal and lateral surveillance. The system is web-based allowing access from anywhere using an IP connection. Jakarta nanti Maret kita akan uji ya untuk mengundang semua yang vendor-vendor uh, yang kelas dunia Kemudian diperkirakan paling lama September sudah bisa kita jalankan dan itu makan waktu setahun. Indonesia Air Navigation isn't only upgrading its system, but also replacing several equipments including 47 workstations, 30 servers, network and interface for the Western Flight Information Region in Jakarta, and Eastern Chapter in Makassar that serves aviation navigation from Samarang to Papua while the FIR for Natuna area is currently served by Singapore. Jonan says FIR for the Natuna area can be served by Indonesia within the next three years.